Good evening, dear students. Today I am going to explain about the chain and anti chain. Chain basically this is the totally ordered set. So this is the synonym. Synonym for the totally ordered set. This is chain. <coughs> and the opposite to chain is this is anti chain. So first of all, I would like to tell you that <coughs> if the elements A and B of any coset. As we already know that O set is a partially ordered set. Like here, S is a set along with some relation. This is less than equal to. This is also known as infix. Are not comparable if either A less than equal to B and B less than equal to A holds. Then they are said to be comparable. When A and B are elements, when A and B are elements of any set. Such that neither A less than B nor B less than A holds. That is, A and B are not related. Then A and B are called incomparable. And this situation is known as anti chain. For example, let us consider a coset. This is Z. This is the Z plus. This is the set of integer, set of positive integer. Then integers two and four are comparable. Since two divides. Four, but three and five are incomparable because neither three divides by nor five divides three. Moreover, if this coset, this is the coset, and every two elements of S are comparable, S is called it totally ordered or linearly ordered set. And in fix, less than equals to is called it total and total order or linear order. So a set. Paired with the total order is called totally ordered set, a linearly ordered set, a simple ordered set, or a chain. Now, now I will describe the chain. Chain is if suppose there is a set S. This is a totally ordered under less than equals to. Then the following statement holds for all A, B, and C in the set. Here this is S. If A less than B and B less than A, then A equals to B. This is anti-symmetric. Same element. This is the property. It means if A less than B and B less than A, then A equals to B. This is anti-symmetric. If A less than B and B less than C, then A less than C. This is the condition. This is the property of transitivity. It means this is transitive. And then this is the third property. This is known as convex property. According to this property, if A less than equals to B or B less than equals to A holds, then this is the convex property. And sometimes it is also known as totality. It is to be noted here in mathematics, a binary relation R on a set X is called a convex relation if it relates all pairs of elements from X in some way. X is a some set. More formally, we can say R is a convex when for all X, for all Y, or X in X and Y in X implies that X is related to Y or Y is. Related to X. For example, in the first example, in the coset Z with the relation less than equals to A less than equals to B or B less than equals to A for all integers A and B. Hence, this Z is a totally ordered. This will be a totally ordered set because for this particular set, along with the This relation, this will hold the totally ordered relation. That's why this will be the totally ordered. You can check it. But the O set J for this particular relation, the relation is not totally ordered since it contains elements that are incomparable, such as three and five, because three divides five, three neither three divides five. Not five divides three. That's why it is not totally ordered. 
Although an ordered set may not be totally ordered, it is still possible for a subset A of S to be totally ordered. Clearly, every subset of totally ordered set must also be totally ordered because this is a subset and subset will hold the property. That's why it will also be totally ordered. Let us consider the poset Z. <coughs> this poset, which is not totally ordered, but A. A is the subset. A is containing the elements 2, 6, 12, 36. It is a totally ordered subset of Z. Since 2 divides 6, 6 divides 12, and 12 divides 36. That's why this particular subset holds the property of total order set. It is to be noted here that HN in the set is a subset. This is different set C of S in which each pair of elements is comparable that is C is totally ordered. Now we will see the example. Let us see the example. Examine whether the relation is less than or equal to on the set of natural numbers. Is it totally ordered relation? You are or not? Let us see the solution. Let n, n is the set that is containing the natural numbers. It may be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 be the set of natural numbers. Let r denotes the relation is less than or equal to. Now to examine whether r is a totally ordered relation or not. So first we will check, we will check the relax relation for all a belongs to n, it implies a less than equals to a, it shows that a is related to a or a comma a belongs to r, hence the reflexivity holds, this will show the reflexivity. The second <coughs> property, this is anti-symmetric relation, we will check whether it is anti-symmetric or not. For a comma b belongs to n, if a comma b belongs to r and b comma a belongs to r, then we can say a r b and b r a. That is to say a less than b and b less than a. It means these two are equal, these two elements are equal, therefore a goes to b, hence the hence the anti-symmetric, anti-symmetricity holds. Now we will see the third property this is transitive relation for a b c belongs to n if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then it means a is related to b and b is related to c implies that a is related to c so now we will check a less than equals to b and b less than c it implies a less than equals to c therefore this can be written as a r c or a comma c belongs to r means this is the third condition, the transitivity hold. Now, obviously R is a partially ordered relation. Now, further for total order, we know for each pair x comma y, now we will generalize x comma y, these are the two different elements containing in the set n, or we may say either x less than y equals to or y less than equals to x hold. It means x is related to y or y is related to x which we have already seen in this partially ordered relation in this example that's why we can say clearly r is a total order relation and the set is a totally ordered set now we will see the anti chain what are the anti chain normally in the area of order theory of mathematics an anti chain is a subset of partially Order sets such that any two elements in the subset are incomparable. Here we will see the incomparability. If they are incomparable, then that is the anti chain. Let S be a partially ordered set. We say that two elements A and B of partially ordered set are comparable if A less than equals to B or B less than equals to A. And if two elements are not comparable, we say they are incomparable. That is, X and Y are incomparable. If neither X less than equals to y nor y less than equals to x holds means no connex property that's why this is the anti chain thank you